Oh. Hello, Potato! Even though Christmas is over, that doesn't mean there can't still be some Christmas leftovers to open up. So let's take a look at... Subscription boxes! Yes, we have! The Winter Special Delivery from Taste of Home. Hashtag TOH Special Delivery. And a Loot Crate, which actually is from October. And this time, it's not because Loot Crate was very, very late in sending it, but because I was waiting for this to come in. Because I want to open these as soon as we get them, because they don't belong to me, they belong to my wife. And she lets me open them up and share them with you before she gets to see them. So I didn't want to have it sitting there for weeks, waiting for a Loot Crate to show up. So, given that we've waited all this time, we will put the special delivery aside and open the Loot Crate first. Because... Taste of Home Special Delivery is pretty much always the better of the two. As always, I have no idea what the theme for this month was. I never really pay much attention to it. And even if I did, you know, it's been three months, so I don't remember. So let's uh, slice it open and see what Loot Crate has. So I want to think, last time we did Loot Crates, it's been a couple months. Uh, I wasn't that impressed with either crate. Which is funny, because the time before that, I was quite impressed with uh, the crates. Or at least with parts of them. So let's, uh, let's see. I'm going to guess maybe some sort of a Halloween theme? I don't know. But let's see what Loot Crate did for October of 2020. And... Well, the theme seems to be Shadow Puppets. Yep, yep, you see those? Those are most definitely shadow puppets. There's a dog and a, a goose, and you probably can't see it on camera. There we go. Ah, I knocked the stockings down. Well, it's, Christmas is over anyways. A bird up there. We got an elephant. And a deer. And a rabbit. And another rabbit. And it retreats because that's, I think, the same goose, but now reversed. Anyway... So yep, that doesn't tell me at all what the theme was, because I'm guessing Shadow Puppets wasn't it, since there's a Black Widow thing in here. Because that movie is still going to come out at some point. Let's look at that first. And, uh, yep. It's a Loot Crate DX item. Ooh. Oh, is this, is this one of those craps we had laying around the warehouse crates? Because I don't subscribe to Loot Crate DX. Which almost certainly means this is a leftovers crate. Or one of those where the theme is, we still have this junk sitting around. The way to tell easily is, if that's the case, is that the shirt will be one I already have. Well, let's take a look at our Black Widow 3D comic standee. These are always fairly hit or miss as far as I'm concerned. And, um... See, if I was paying extra for the DX, I, I think I'd be a little annoyed. That's... You know, I've had some of the comic standee things before, but that's really unimpressive. That's such a huge box for such a slight little thing. It's nicely sculpted. The paint job's not awful, but it's just very light and very cheap. Look at that. Isn't that? There's, there's no, no substance to that at all. Now, realistically, I mean, does substance matter if you're putting it on a shelf? No. If I were a huge Black Widow fan, would I like it? Probably more than I do. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not impressed. I don't hate it, but I'm not impressed. Let's see what our next item is. There's something squishy. It is an Adam Katz hat. That's from uh, Fallout, right? The Adam Katz from Fallout 4? Yeah, they're the one, they're the group... They are the, like, hot rod metal power armor enthusiasts, right? That's the... Well, does they fall out on the inside? That's not bad. So that's probably left over from, like, Loot Crate Gaming, or Gaming Crate, or Loot Gaming, or whatever... Whatever the video game crate is called. But that's not a bad item. It's got some dust on it for some reason. Oh, you know what that is? That's probably still pancake mix from last week's video that I didn't clean off properly. That's not bad. I like that. I like it better than the Black Widow thing. Alright, let's see... The shirt... And it is... looks like Venom? 
it's Venom. I don't think I have this one. But I still think this is a random junk we had left over around the warehouse crate. Because these don't thematically fit at all. I mean, yeah, okay, these two are Marvel, but uh, Fallout still doesn't fit into that. It's not a bad shirt. Uh, black is always a nice color for a shirt. I don't know where I'd wear it. I'm not a huge Venom fan. I'm always afraid if I wear a shirt of some of these characters that people are going to expect me to know things about them and then I will look foolish. Have something like, yeah, I just like the shirt. I really don't know that much about Venom. All right, what else in here? We have, a, we have a pin still. It's a big pin. It's not a pin. It's a clip. It's a bottle opener. Of course it's a bottle opener. Because I only have like 30 bottle openers from Loot Crate over the years. It's a The Crow bottle opener. Well, at least at least it sort of matches in with the, uh, the bird hand puppet. That's a nice thing. It's solid and chunky. I mean, I feel like it's kind of forced that you've made it into a bottle opener. I'd like it better as a pin. But, uh, well, that's not bad. It's, it's better than that. And then we have our thanks for being a looter card. Don't care about that. And a pin is a groundhog. Just in time for Halloween. When this would have showed up originally. Um, they've kind of gone cheap on these pins again. Kind of actually reminds me a little bit, style-wise, of the Halloween D23 pins that we looked at back in October. As far as a kind of just more of a simplistic design, but still not quite as nice as those. Of course, it's not Hatbox Ghost, and that doesn't help it any either. And that does appear to be the entirety of the crate. We got, what, four items? Five items if you count the pin as an item? So, I guess it comes time to rate the crate. Uh, shirt's a shirt. I don't usually rate the shirts, at least I don't think I do. Which means I'm going to give my best item, my favorite item, will be our little fall Adam Cat's hat. Um, don't know if I'll wear it. I have, I do have a few hats like this, not Fallout ones, from Loot Crate over the years. I have, going back far enough that I have like that old reversible Daredevil Punisher one, and I have like a Pikachu one. But that's not bad. That's nice. I like that. It's, uh, it feels like decent quality. The patch is actually kind of puffy on it, like it's got its own stuffing. It's not like a, it's not like one of those stitched patches. It feels like a, uh, like they've sewn a little pillow onto here. That's nice. Second place, guess I'll go with the crow bottle opener. It does look cool. It got like like eyes. It's got eyes. It's nicer quality than the pin too. Uh, I wish it had been a pin. I wish it had been a pin instead of a. Just says loot crate. It doesn't say loot crate DX on it. Uh, third place, third place I will give to Black Widow, because um, just saying, putting it in last place after this would kind of be cruel. It's not, I'm not super impressed with it, but it's not, it's not worse than that. And which means last place is our completely seasonally inappropriate, both for when I was supposed to get it, or rather when I was supposed to open it, and when I really have opened it. And uh, also just because it feels kind of cheapy. Like they're kind of stepping backwards on the pins. Not back to all the way where they were just doing like the the ba button badge style. But uh, a backward step all the same. So yep, that is the October Loot Crate. Not a great one. One particularly good item. Three, eh, and a decent shirt. Not the worst crate. I want to say it's better than the last crate that we looked at. It's been like three months. So I don't really remember it. I just remember that I wasn't impressed. If this is the kind of stuff you're getting in Loot Crate DX, I'm kind of glad I'm not spending the extra money for Loot Crate DX. Well, let me clear this all out of the way, and then we'll take a look at my wife's Taste of Home box. So here we go. Look at this now. This is what you're here for, right? To watch me open kitchen gadgets. Uh, my wife commented that she felt this was a smaller box than last time, and yeah, I suppose it is, but then again, so was that Loot Crate, but then again, that Loot Crate also wasn't very good. That doesn't necessarily mean bad things, though. We've gotten big stuff in bigger crates before that weren't that impressive, like last year's Fall Crate, uh, where it was a lot of just kind of single-use stuff, like cupcake cups and paper straws and things like that. 
or uh, we've gotten things like we've got thing called the Butter Boy, which was which is a large item we've never used. It's for like putting butter on corn, I believe. We got like a pair of meat rending claws, I think, back in the spring box, which you know that's kind of a unitasker. We have these things called forks. We don't really need special Wolverine claws just to tear apart a pulled pork. So let's uh, let's let's see what this is going to be. I, I don't think it being a smaller box is going to be a bad thing necessarily. I wonder if I have that coffee in it again. I think, you know, we tried the coffee and um, it wasn't very good. They had, that, they had that coffee in the last two, the Taste of Home coffee in the like last two crates. And we did finally make it uh, a couple months ago. And yeah, it was not, it wasn't good. I wouldn't buy it. All right, so here we go. Our hashtag TOH special delivery, Taste of Home special delivery box. And it comes with a coupon! Probably a coupon that was good up until Christmas. All right, pull back the paper ever so gently because I don't want to mess anything up. Because I should put it all back as much as possible for my wife. So, soup's on! That's the theme. We're not going to look at any more of that because that will spoil things for us. And uh, all right, let's start with our recipe cards. We always start with recipe cards. There's usually something, some interesting things, some good things, and something that shouldn't be in here because it's so basic. So first thing is slow cooker cider. Please tell me it's not just an issue of put cider in a thing. It is. So this would be the thing that shouldn't be in here as a recipe card. It's literally put cider in a crock pot with some other stuff and let it simmer. Okay. Although sometimes these also are re relevant to things that are in the crate. So maybe there's an item in here for using to make the, the little spice bag. Because let's put it all in a spice bag, which makes sense unless you want to drink chunks of clove and allspice in your beverage. We have French loaves. Mm, this is a fairly basic item, but I suppose if you've never made French loaf before. It's something you would need instructions for. Loaded mashed potatoes. Mm. Sour cream, milk, butter, cheese. So it's healthy. Oh, and bacon. Can do without the green onions. I can deal with green onions, but just prefer not to. An Italian sub. Put meat on bread. Yeah, see, this, that's not a recipe. We all know how to make sandwiches. Tuna ciabatta melt. What the... And they're all very simple recipes this time, aren't they? They're two-step recipes. And Italian sub, again. And no, it's not two different Italian subs. It's the same Italian sub. They thought it was so noteworthy, they put it in here twice. And then a slightly fancier sandwich with the grilled goat cheese and arugula. These cards don't feel like they are as good a quality as some of the past cards have been. They feel thinner. All right. So I'm guessing there'll be something in here to do with sandwich making because we have like what three? Well, we have a we have a make your own bread and like two other sandwich things. So I'm guessing there'll be something to do with making bread in here, or sa or making sandwiches. All right, we've got a uh, this thing. Oh, a collapsible mini colander. Yeah, that's a usable thing. We've actually used a, we got like a berry basket two or three ba bin boxes ago and we've used it a couple times that's something that might get used oh we do have food in here but got a silicone herb infuser carrot so i'm guessing maybe you, maybe you can use this to make your spiced cider that's good you can put your your herbs and stuff in that for making stocks and stuff it's not bad. That's not an awful thing. But this, we do actually use some of these things. We use, um, I regularly use that that meat chopper thing. If I'm making fried beef, you know, like taco meat or spaghetti meat, use that, uh, the sapoon for getting things out of small jars. All right, next is a Joseph Joseph Whiskle. They really like the Joseph Joseph brand. 
Why is it? Oh, it's a, oh, you know, I think we've actually looked at these before and just never bought one. It's a whisk, but it has a scraper on it. So after you've whisked, you can use it to scrape things out of the bowl without getting a second scraper. Okay, I like that. I, I can see that getting used. Only thing is, whisks are frequently, I find, a pain in the butt. But maybe because I, I just, I use them for things that I could just as easily use a fork for. But that's not a bad item. Can I take it out of the bag? No, it's sealed in the bag. I'm not going to take it out of the bag because leave that for my wife to take out. But that's, that's not a bad item. I think that's my favorite one so far. Next, we have a really dinky vegetable peeler. This thing feels incredibly cheap. It is a Kuhn Recon. I want to say I've heard of that brand before and I thought it was better than this. This honestly feels like Happy Meal quality toy. It's very, very light, non-substantive feeling plastic. But, you know, you can never have too many peelers around in case one breaks. And we have more of that coffee. They really want us to buy this coffee. This coffee is not very good. It's not like McCafe bad, which is my low bar for coffee, but it's not good. Next, we've got some fancy toothpicks, cocktail picks. Well, you know, if we had done like a Christmas Eve thing this year, these could have been useful for that. But we didn't. Maybe let's do one next year, although I don't know that we'll be doing one next year either. 40 cocktails. I mean, they're cute. But they're definitely single use, and I'm not a fan. I guess you could wash them, but why would you? And then we have some food. We've got New England chicken stew mix. So lots of dehydrated vegetables that you just add butter, onion, flour, cornstarch, broth. You'd think like things like cornstarch and, and flour they could have put in here somehow, wouldn't you? Freshly ground black pepper, sherry. Okay, well, sherry you couldn't put in there. But it kind of seems like some of the stuff they could have found a way to put in here. I think we've tried Stonewall Kitchen. No, I don't know if we've tried Stonewall Kitchen before. I think there have been Stonewall Kitchen things in these boxes before that we may not have ever made. I think there's some popover mix that we never actually made. So I guess maybe the sandwiches are supposed to go with soup. Maybe that's maybe that's all the sandwich stuff is about. Because we do kind of have a soup theme going with the stuff. We've got some actual stew mix. We've got a vegetable peeler for, you know, peeling your carrots and your potatoes for your stew. We've got an infuser to put your herbs in when you're making your stock, or I guess when making soup itself. Got a colander you can use to rinse soup ingredients. And a whisk for I don't know what. I don't know what in soup, anyways. I, I, I've never whisked soup. I haven't made a lot of soups, though. Maybe that's a normal thing. Maybe the answer to that question is in the cookbook, which seems really small this month. Or this time, this quarter. I guess it's quarter. We get these every three months, so yeah, it's quarterly. This seems like a smaller book than they normally are. Also, it's uh, like trade paperback style instead of hardback. I guess they aren't usually hardback, are they? Oh, it's not bad. I mean, it's a it's a cookbook. Is there a price on it? Because of course, again, as I always say, this is like the main the main attraction when you buy these things is this book. This is like most of the value of the box. Let's look through some recipes. We got African peanut sweet potato stew, apple chicken stew, ooh, shrimp egg drop soup. That could be good. Chilled avocado soup appetizers with crab. That could not be good. Potato soup, BP cabbage, bean stew. So I guess maybe the sandwiches are to go with your soups to have soup and sandwich, or just bake a nice French loaf to have with your soup. That's eh, not bad. It's not the best one. And then there's like, well, what is this coupon for? I want to treat yourself twenty percent off store wide. Preferred customers only. Well, I don't know if I'm a preferred customer. Enter code box shop at checkout. So there you go. If you want to get 20% off Taste of Home, I have no idea if this is still valid or not, because I don't see a date on it. But enter box shop into the checkout at tasteofhome.com. 
Oh, sorry, shop.tasteofhome.com slash T-O-H box. So I guess that makes you a preferred customer. If you if you know that code, that makes you a preferred customer. Is that it? Yep. Only thing else in there is the paper. Well, let's rate this. And just like I don't rate shirts, we don't rate cookbooks because they're the whole point of the box. So, um, best item, definitely the Whiskle. Joseph Joseph item, those are always pretty good brands. No, I wouldn't say it's like OXO Good Grips exactly, but good. Uh, second place, I'll give it to this. It looks cute because it looks like a carrot. And you can put your herbs and stuff in it. Instead of having like, you know, buy cheesecloth that you're going to throw away. You could reuse it. Still in the kind of large hole size is going to limit what you can put in there. But, you know, if you're putting whole stuff in, like uh, it shows what like rosemary and stuff there. That would be fine. Third place we will give to our collapsible colander. It's a little small, honestly, for a lot of use, but I'm sure we can find use for it. And uh, fourth place, the Happy Meal peeler. Useful at least, not single use, not disposable. Although I do wonder how much use you can really get out of this before it breaks. And um, then next we will go with the chicken stew mix. I don't particularly love it when they put single-use items in here, but this doesn't look bad. Take it back. Is that, is that squash in there? They got butternut squash in there? Where are the ingredients? White beans, potatoes, onions, carrots, peas. Oh, it's probably... Oh, yellow pepper. That's what that is. Well, we'll still leave it there. We won't we won't knock it down any farther for that, but I'm not a fan of the peppers. Next will be our simply baked 40 cocktail picks, not just for baking, because they are perfect for cocktails, appetizers, bite-sized desserts, fruit, and more. They're also a single-use item, but they are at least kind of a neat-looking one. I feel like I wanna wanna set up a big map and stick them in it. And then last place is this coffee, because frankly, I've had it, and it's not very good. Normally, I would rate coffee high, just based on the fact it's coffee, but I've, like I said, I've, I've tried this, it's not good coffee. And I frankly wish Taste of Home would stop foisting it on us every quarter, because we're not going to buy it, because it wasn't good. All right, well, I need to put all this back together and give it to my wife so she can have the fun of opening it. And um, there's no point in you watching that. So that basically is going to wrap this up. We've looked at another couple boxes, and uh, hopefully that has helped you deal with your holiday hangover. If it has, or if you've just found this at all interesting, because you may be watching this a year from now, please give the video a like and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. And, and maybe this Christmas stuff here will, will be gone by then. I don't know. I left Halloween up until, like, Thanksgiving, so it, it's possible it'll stay. We'll see. Find out next time.